live from the Rev Sports Radio Studios in the best dang town in America. Duh. Winning. You know what time it is. It's game time. Hey, call us at 662-236-2120. Now, live from Oxford, here are your hosts, Terrence and David. No problems, yeah. 23 minutes now after the hour of 7 o'clock. Welcome back to the Game Time Morning Show. David Johnson and Terrence Metcalf joining you live here. We appreciate your patience uh, waiting on the Ross Bjork interview. And uh, Ross now joins us uh, via the Oxford Toyota phone lines live from, uh, I believe, Corinth, Mississippi. No, uh, correction right there, Macomb, Mississippi this morning, Ross. I can't even keep up with where you're at this week. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I know where I'm at either. How's it's it going? a whirlwind. This is... Uh... Let's see, stop number 10 here in Macomb. Well, you're, you're, you're getting to see the great state of Mississippi this week, that is for sure. You know what, I, I, I tweeted out earlier this week that I love geography, which I do, <laughs> and uh, there's no better way to see it than to get out and uh, meet people like this. Well, by all accounts, great state. by all accounts, the Rebel Road Trip has just been a, been a great success thus far. Has there been any one particular place that stood out above the other, or have they all just been, uh, I guess, full of excitement? You know what? Every place has been uh, has been packed. You know, last night we had uh, really standing room only crowd in uh, Tupelo. Same thing in Jackson. But every room, every venue, I think people are walking in. You know, with some excitement and some hope, but they're walking out with even more excitement and, and more hope about the future. And, and that's what Coach Freeze and the Chancellor and I are really talking about, is just, you know, building confidence in Rebel Nation and where we believe this program deserves to go and mm-hmm. can go. And to, to our listeners, uh, Ross, all across the country that, that joins the morning show, can you kind of give them that same, uh, a short spill of what you're telling Rebel Nation right now? Well, Terrence, what, what we're saying is that we should be proud of who we are. We have great assets here at the University of Mississippi. Our spirit is Ole Miss, and that we've, we've done so many things that our foundation is there. We've got great facilities. We've got a great tradition. We've won national championships. We've produced All-Americans. We've produced Rhodes Scholars. We've got the first family of football in the Manning family. We have the Grove. We have Swayze Field. We have all these assets, and that we should really, you know, puff our chest out and oh, be yeah. confident, not, not cocky but have, uh, have a swagger and a confidence of who we are and how we can get this job done. And, and then we're just challenging people to, to join, to be involved in whatever way they can, whether that's buying a T-shirt or making a major donation, whatever it might be. Yeah. We want people to, to be involved and be a part of this program. Ross, I, I know you've been here on the job for a very little time, and, and you've ten, been ex- ten days, yeah, ten days, ten, <laughs> ten days, extremely busy. But uh, you know, are there certain challenges, and, and and I don't know if challenge is, is the correct word there. Uh, are there certain issues that you feel like are paramount that be addressed right off the bat? Well, David, I think the the first thing you know, there's there's a list that I'm obviously gathering as I learn more about the program you know, from a technical standpoint, but I think the first thing that we've got to do, and, and really I challenge myself with this in the press conference, is, is build relationships. Build relationships that we can count on now and, and in the future. And so I think that's why this road trip was important. I think that's why, you know, being visible around campus and around our events last week was important, and we'll continue to do that. So I think relationships are key to everything. And then that'll give me a chance to, to learn and listen and then, you know, assess the program along the way. So I think those are the two priorities, you know, build relationships and assess the program Mm -hmm. over the next uh, couple months in this summer. And then, you know, we're kicking off here in about 151 days. Yeah, amen to that. We've got to hit the ground running and and really capitalize on this excitement throughout the summer. Coach Freeze and I keep saying we're undefeated. (laughs) So let's ride that wave. And, and capitalize on the enthusiasm that exists right now. Ross, talk, talk a little bit about uh, Coach Freeze. I know uh, he, he's gotten in here. A lot of people have received him well. You can He got a warming personality. He's doing some great things with the football program and also addressing uh, Rebel Nation. Talk a little bit about uh, expectations for these coaches here uh, at Ole Miss. Well, the good thing about, about myself and Coach Freeze is I, I've seen him you know, operate. I've seen him produce, you know, firsthand by being in the Sun Belt. I met him over a year ago at a, at a function. And so, I, you know, you can just tell right away that he has the it factor and he talks about it, you know, making it happen. Mm-hmm. And, 
and that message, and, and it resonates with people, you know, because it's crystal clear on, on what it takes to get this program where we want it to go. And so, I, to me, I don't have to set any expectations, you know, for our football program because they're doing it in those football offices and that football complex. And so what I love about what they're doing is they're recruiting at the highest level. They're not afraid. They're not going to say, well, we can't go after this kid or that oh, kid yeah. because so-and-so is recruiting him. No, they don't care. They're going to go after him. They're going to work hard. They're going to build relationships every single day, and they're not going to settle. And, and Coach Freeze, he loves this program. He's a perfect fit for this program. I, I said it uh, when he got hired because you track uh, what happens around college football, and it's just a perfect match here at Ole Miss. And then then he and I, we're, we're on the same page. I mean, we're finishing our, our, our sentences as we start them. Uh, whether I start a sentence and he finishes it or, or vice versa, it's been a great relationship here in the first uh, month or so. Joining us here this morning in the Johnson's Furniture guest chair via the Oxford Toyota phone line. Ross, we're, we're almost like NASCAR up here in the morning with the <laughs> sponsorships and everything. Is Ole Miss, a- Pay the bill. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ole Miss Athletic Director Ross Bjork uh, about to take the stage down in Macomb, Mississippi this morning. Later on today at 1130 over in Clarksdale and at 530 this evening in South Haven as the Rebel Road Trip uh, makes its way back towards Oxford. Ross stops in Corinth, Nashville, and Memphis tomorrow and then everything culminates uh, on the main stage at the Double Decker Festival on Saturday here in Oxford. What can uh, what can uh, the local Rebel fans who are going to be out there at the Double Decker on Saturday, what message can they expect to hear from yourself and Coach Freeze? Well, I think what we're talking about is, again, the confidence building, the unity. You know, we, we've, given, uh, we've given nine hugs around Rebel Nation so far, so Saturday will be our 16th hug that we're given to Rebel Nation. And uh, really the theme is just, again, walk out of here with some confidence about your program, our program, and how we're going to build this thing together. And so hopefully, you know, people walk away with some energy, some enthusiasm about what lies ahead, you know, the rest of this summer and into next season and and a long time after that. So that's really the the mission, the message that people can expect to hear. And we're going to be on the stage, you know, there's Saturday and, and I think uh, it'll be a packed house from what I hear about the Double Decker Festival. And I think it'll uh, just match the enthusiasm that we've seen along this trail. Ross, you had a very heartfelt and seemed like genuine message on the Jumbotron at the Grove Bowl about season tickets for the uh, football program mm-hmm. last Saturday. Coach Freeze is doing what he can right now, everything he can, to turn around the fortunes of this football program. How important is it uh, when it comes to ticket sales in regards to putting fans in the seats, what kind of role can the fans play in in the turning around of this football program? Well, what they can do is they can they can pack Bot Hemingway Stadium. And, and what that'll, that, that signal will send, we don't know how many games we're going to win next year. We have no idea. We can't. Mm-hmm. We can't control that right now. We can only control how hard we're going to play and how hard we're going to coach them. But what, what the fans can help with is when recruits and when other people visit, people walk away and say, wow, right. that place was rocking. That place was packed. That place had energy. The fans got into it. Boy, how, how much do they care about football at Ole Miss? Well, they care a lot because the fans are behind the program you, you know, no matter what. There's unconditional love for the program. So I, I think that's, that's again, that's a message that we're sending is that, you know what, we, we know we've had a tough couple of years. We understand that. But building in the future, the expectation is that we're going to play hard every quarter. And we're going to play hard every play and see what the scoreboard says at the end. And, and all along the way, have a plan and a attacking enthusiasm about what we're trying to do. So the fans can make a difference in that atmosphere and give us maybe a boost as we're building this program. Ross, you talked a little bit about a sense of pride that the Rebel Nation need to have uh, because we, we, we do – we certainly have – the best, some of the best facilities out there. We got uh, uh, probably by far uh, up there with Alabama, the Tennessees, with the number of uh, professional athletes we we produce here. That not only in football but also baseball right. and, and a host of other uh, athletics. What are we doing to uh, get those guys back and involved with 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 yeah. this new push uh, for Rebel Nation? You know, Terrence, I've, I've got a lot of ideas. That'll, uh, that'll come together, you know, over the next uh, couple of months. But I, I think the first message that we have to send is that 
everyone is always welcome. And you know what? Yes, we, we need to pay attention to our professional athletes, but if you wore the uniform, no matter right. the sport, you're always welcome back on campus. And, and kind of my, uh, my sense of humor side is, you know, just tell us that you're coming so the door's not locked. <laughs> but we want you back on campus. Yes. You know, we need to spread the legacy, the message about former athletes are always welcome back because they laid the foundation. They paved the way for our successes in now and in the future. And so there's, there's a lot of great ideas I think we can do to engage the, the in, in club and, and, you know, whether it's care packages sent out to all of our NFL guys, you know, as they're get, gearing up for training camp. And so they're walking around training camp wearing their old Miss gear, whatever it might be. We want to do the little things to make them feel like they're a part of the family Again, unconditionally, you know they're they're rebels. They're they're part of the family. So I think there's some things that we just gotta we just gotta energize, you know, our former athletes and, and really make that part of our culture is that everyone is always welcome because you wore the uniform. Ross, I know you're hustling along, and uh, you were supposed to be, uh, I, I guess, at the event about four minutes ago. So I know we've got to let you go, but yes, we. Sir want to just tell you how much we appreciate you coming on the Game Time Morning Show this morning and sharing your insights and your thoughts with us as uh, 10 days into the job here uh, as the athletic director at Ole Miss. And uh, there's a reason for Rebel Nation to be excited. Oh, yeah, it certainly is. It certainly well, do appreciate it, Ross. I know, uh, I know when you got your own hashtag on Twitter that people must be excited. There's a new uh, one that was created called Bjork Bump. Ah, <laughs> I like hashtag that. Bjork Bump. So whatever that means. Again, we'll, we'll ride that wave of enthusiasm. All right, everyone. Uh, Ole Miss Athletic Director you, Ross thank Bjork. You, Ross. Ross, thank you for being on this morning. Okay. Have a great show. We'll All see right. You. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Uh, you hear it from uh, Ross Bjork himself, who right now is in the middle of blitzing uh, the state of Mississippi uh, 10 days into the job. And uh, he is getting a geographical lesson in the state of Mississippi as the Rebel Road Trip has made stops in Meridian, Waynesboro, Gulfport, Indianola, Vicksburg, Jackson, West Point, Birmingham, Tupelo. And this morning, uh, right now, Ross joining us live from Macomb, Mississippi. Yeah, you know, that's all over the place, and the Rebel Nation should be excited. You know, you get an opportunity to see your new athletic director, new head football coach, uh, address the crowd and, and, and address in a unified fashion. Uh, that's something, like I said, that the, the Rebel Nation has been crying for for years, and it's finally here. So like Ross said, let's get behind the new attitude, the new excitement here at Ole Miss, and and take pride in our university. He touched on some key things. We, our facilities, our our uh, rich tradition here at Ole Miss. Not only have we had successful uh, athletes on a professional level, but get athletes, uh, our, our students are leaving here and and going on to bigger and better things. So we should definitely be proud of uh, what's going on here at Ole Miss. Yeah, no doubt about that, and uh, a lot of excitement. And as he pointed out, Ross said, "Hey, we don't know how many games we're going to win this fall." Yeah, and we don't. We don't. But but listen, do not write off this 2012 football season. I'm telling you, excitement and momentum, enthusiasm, and a positive attitude can create a lot of good things. And you've got all of those ingredients mixed in right here. And you've got a schedule that uh, it's going to be difficult, but it's not impossible to see this Ole Miss football team winning six or seven ball games. I mean, that is not out of the question. Now, there, the flip side of that coin is we all know where this program was left. Right. We'll talk more about that when we come back, 737 on this Thursday, April 26th.